Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shobha Badigar. I am a consultant of pediatric hemato-oncology and bone marrow transplantation in Mazumdar Shah Medical Center, a unit of Narayana Health, Bangalore. I want to talk about allogenic bone marrow transplantation in children. Allogenic bone marrow transplantation is a procedure where stem cells are taken from a donor and transfused to a patient who is suffering from various conditions. This kind of treatment is given for children with blood cancer, which is high risk or recurrent, and non-malignant conditions like thalassemia, aplastic anemia, immunodeficiency disorders, and uh, adrenoleukodystrophy, and various other conditions. The donor is a healthy donor, which is either a sibling, a parent, a related donor, or an unrelated donor or umbilical cord blood donor. We do what is called HLA typing and find out the matching status between the patient and the donor. If it is fully matched, it is a matched donor transplant. If it is not a match, if it is a half match, it is called a haplotransplant or a half match transplantation. Now during this transplantation, the donor will be adequately tested to see the fitness of the donor and will be given what is called growth factor injection, which is similar to insulin in diabetics for three to four days. And the stem cells will be collected either through peripheral blood donation or through bone marrow harvest. In the bone marrow harvest, we'll be given general anesthesia, which is absolutely safe with the current technologies. After the donor's donation, the donor can resume regular activities and will not have any short-term or long-term complications. The patient will undergo what is called high-dose chemotherapy before undergoing the bone marrow transplantation with a pre-scheduled plan. And once they come to a day when they have to get a stem cell transfusion, the stem cells will be taken from the donor and will be transfused just like any other blood transfusion. It is not any surgical procedure. After this, it takes three to four weeks for the donor cells to grow in the patient's body. And that day is called engraftment day. During this time, we look for complications like vomiting, mouth ulcers, infection, and these are taken care of by adequate medicines. They can also be prevented with certain medicines that are given even before these complications occur. Once the graft cells, that is the stem cell starts growing, we look for complications called graft versus host disease, wherein there can be diarrhea, there can be jaundice, there can be skin ulcers, and we give medicines to prevent this complication called graft versus host disease. In around 10 to 20 percent of the patients, this graft versus host disease can be severe uh, in stage 3 or 4, in which case they will need special medications as treatment. Almost 80 to 90 percent of non malignant conditions like thalassemia, aplastic anemia, primary immunodeficiency disorders, when treated on time, get cured of their disease for life. In malignancy like blood cancer, the cure rate is around 50 to 60 percent depending on the general condition of the patient, the prior treatment and the stage of the disease when this transplantation is done. In general, allogenic bone marrow transplantation is curative in children and gives a lot of hopes for children with non-malignant conditions and for children with cancer who have not responded to the initial chemotherapy. It is a boon for all these children and all children who have this indication for bone marrow transplantation should access this treatment. Thank you.